Hey friends, happy Hi, friends. Monday. How's everyone doing? Ooh, we are good. We are charged and ready to go. Yeah, that's, we've had yes. just a full day. We have yes. Was it the first day of school? It was the first day of school. When you know what, my daughter, she's four. She's been. I should have put a picture here. Oh yeah. Um, I also don't share pictures because my account is public, and so there's all these security like hazards. When you know you have the cute little board with the, oh what yeah, they, you got to block all that what out. They want to be and all that, and then it has your house and the, you know like you're taking the pictures. Mm -hmm. But I've sent it to. I was gonna send it to you this morning. Um, send it to just family and friends and stuff like that. But um. I love seeing everybody's back to school pictures. So she's in, uh, she's four years old and she's skipping several levels and now pre K three. And she, um, I was so worried. And so I pick her up before I come here to work. Um, and I was so worried because she doesn't have any friends in that class. Oh. But she is like, you hi, her up. You did my, her up. yes, I was, she said, the teacher said she fit right in. And I said, did you make friends? She goes, yes. I said, hi, my name is Liana Grace Gotera and I'm new. Would you like to be my friend? Oh, perfect. Yes. Um, and she was fine going in. Yes, she was fine going in um, because this is um, my son's old teacher. So Aww. we've known her for a while. And she's awesome. Um, but then it's, my son has a couple more days of school, or a couple summer. more days of summer. So. I worked out and then I took him swimming. Oh. And then, so we've had a full. That's fun. It yes. wasn't that, it wasn't as hot this morning. No, it wasn't. And it was nice. Yes, it's nice. And um, yeah, so he, he chilled out there. The, he went to Texans practice yesterday. Ooh, how was that? Training camp. So that was really nice. It's hot, but it's exciting. Like I'm excited about the season and, um, you know, just getting out there and um, going with family. It's just like, things to do like the fall thing yeah fall right things are fun like, I yes. always like the fall I did yes I think I like being busy and yes. that was always like such a busy fun time yes and now it's now and it's just kind of like normal life but <laughs> one day it'll get back to that yes. you know well, but you know football to, and stuff is, is fun you did like you'd go to Steelers games and stuff yeah like that, right but so like even like, just like in high school like you got football season yes and dance line and you know, yes. golf season and like I know everything's starting back up school's still fun because it's like ooh, it's new yeah I'm used to it right yeah. yeah I never liked I never loved the spring because by that point you're like burnout oh yeah then you're over it it's like okay let's just get to summer yes yes but no I told totally. you now it's, now it's just it's all the same to me for now yes well, what time would you like your wedding to be? Like, do you think you'd want a summer wedding or? You know, whatever I choose, I will not be asking my guests to pay a fee to come to my wedding. This is ridiculous. This is so crazy. So a couple charged their wedding guests in New York $333 each to save money on their wedding. The $333. No. Right. No. Right. Like if there was a honeymoon fund. That's what I was just going to say. The most of my friends, their weddings I've gotten to invite it to, give the QR code, scan Thank it, you. Yes. and it goes to like the knot, right. and then it's or like, the whatever the website is. It's literally yes. all these options for gifts. Yes. Honeymoon fund, um, a massage at the you know, yeah, place or, they're staying, all these different options, and I'm completely, thank you for making my life easier. I'm going to donate to the honeymoon fund. You can leave a message. It's perfect. It is so easy, but a Zelle account That's seems where I was so like, weird. are we for real right now? Like That's so weird. Also, too, I just feel like when it's more of like the scan the QR code and then the money, like you can donate to that honeymoon fund, like they're going to get this chunk of money. If it just goes to a Zelle account, that's literally your bank account, basically. That's like me saying, here's my Venmo yeah, account. Yeah, same as Venmo, Cash App, whatever one you use. That seems so icky. This seems ick, too. Well, this like, seems ridiculous. First of all, I've been to New York City dozens of times. If I went, I wouldn't want to pay three hundred dollars to go on a freaking tour of New York. No, City. and been there, people, done that. I don't even know, no, right? Like, and then that's over six hundred dollars for people who are couples. But whatever happened to the couple and the family looking at it as thank you for taking the time to celebrate us, us and yeah. bless us? Mm -hmm. So thank you. Yeah. Like, that's a great. It's like you mentioned Honolulu mm -hmm. and even um, some of the other places where Jackson, it's cold what, yeah. are very scenic, beautiful yes, nature. You yes. can be outside taking mm -hmm. the scenery and all that. So, I mean, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I'm pretty sure it does because I think it's about being in your Zen state, but I don't understand Silicon Valley, California. S you know, I've heard great things about it though. Seriously, I've really? heard, uh, yes, other things we've reported on have echoed that, 
With Washington, D.C., I'm wondering if it's the fact that there's like really good public transportation, so you don't always have to sit in traffic because mm. there's trains and, and the yeah. metro and all kinds of things. And then cherry blossom season is really beautiful there. That is and nice. there's a lot of just when you're driving around historic monuments. I don't know. I'm just taking a guess here. I've never been to Silicon Valley, so, um, you know, if you are a big fan that I'm, I'm going with no experience whatsoever, so please excuse me. But um, Washington DC, I can see it's, it is beautiful. Have you been there? Oh yeah. yeah oh yeah. yeah. So it, it was, it's very nice. That I, was all drivable when I yeah. growing up in Pennsylvania. So it's like five, six hour drive. Mm -hmm. So easy, we've been there. It is, it is pretty. Yeah. And then now that I've grown up, I guess the food scene there is really good. I've heard people talk, I haven't done DC as an adult, but mm -hmm. people really enjoy it. I. I was very underwhelmed with the White House. I just were I, you in there? I didn't go inside. Yeah. I was out. This is again when I was a teenager. So in my head, you know, and I'm sure it's. I've never been inside, so it's just kind of like. Well, I mean, my favorite mesmerized. thing about Washington D.C. was going into the Smithsonian, where they have all the first ladies' outfits oh, and dresses. Yes. Of course, yes. of course, yes. over anything. That's what I remember the most, and I just right. thought it was so cool. And I stood there, and I mean, they had Michelle Obama. They, I mean, they just had. Every, everyone every. going way back to I mean just so many years ago and it's it was so cool seeing all the dresses and they were in the cases and like reading about it and the mm -hmm, designers mm -hmm. I was like oh my gosh I love this of course the Holocaust Museum was very oh that's always serious very and definitely was very I was young and put a lot into perspective for me those are fascinating to yes me. I'm fascinated by that time and just what those people went through oh but yeah. yes it's and um the presidential whatever it's called at disney world that's always one of my favorites the too. hall of presidents yes the hall of oh presidents. yeah we go yes. in there to take a nap and then oh. go, go back in <laughs> go back out we go in there for the air conditioning did you know that like um our the spaceship United earth oh they are yeah the, oh i those, didn't know that those people oh, that cool. are in there yeah just huh. like like I guess interesting recycle. well yeah because whatever sitting president is in the hall of presidents in disney mm -hmm. and i always go and i always sleep that's when I where wake up. i really yeah i wake up at the end <laughs> i'm all like oh, no i didn't go this time um i'll be there shortly oh my gosh we might have a we'll have a new president by that point oh, i didn't i didn't yes. I, so the sitting president gives us the statue that literally moves and talks mm -hmm. gives a speech at the end and so pretty much every time I've always went to see the sitting president, yeah. I, I would like go to sleep like this and there oh and then at the God. end wake up so I can see yeah, yeah. Um, the, the sitting president in there talk because right, right. that's like the fun part is. Well, there's the actually president. a lot more happening at Disney World and Disneyland. So we'll talk about that coming up. And Updating, for all, right. yeah, and reinventing. And whenever I walked into Disneyland and went into the Star Wars area, there were performances going on and character like you I know. felt like you were on set. It was mm -hmm. I mean, people were punching and they have the sound effects. Like these are real yes. um they would be like dancers or actors yes. that are hired and they're up on this building. Like we were just walking around no, that's boom, Star Wars boom, area. Boom. Yes, it was yes. crazy. And then you got um I don't know the names for all these things, yeah. but you know the little robot thing and Oh R2 D. Oh yes, it's mm -hmm. going around and then you yeah, got did you um, hear that in the back? <laughs> <I'm around. laughs> There's Star Darth Vader is like <laughs> it, it's so realistic. Like, yes. I will say they they did a great job with with that. Interview, oh yeah, for it, sure. It feels like another time zone, and it's just it, it's, it's worth the ridiculous amount of money to go experience yes. it. I will say to transport yourself, especially if you have kids like yours who are fans of of that and know yes, much more. Yes, I know that's definitely. very bare minimum, but that's yeah. how I am a lot of times. I'm like, well, I haven't seen the movie, but I've been on the ride. I know that's how you that's how you do it. Yeah, well, that's how Disney gets you, and they'll continue to take my money. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the Collins family's money know, too, yeah. so I feel you. And we have no kids to justify it. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. It's for adults too. That's why it's it so popular. Literally it literally is. It really is. It is. I'm gonna just focus on Epcot this time. Yeah. Yeah. It'll yeah. be good. All right, all right, friends. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Have a great week. Bye.